Good day everyone. I am Maricho P. Panares. This video discussion will talk about the chapter 4 entitled Women's Ways of Knowing. The development of self, voice, and mind. We will also discuss the implication of the identified ways of knowing in relation to the greater societal context. So now, let's identify how men and women represent knowledge. So in Western, male reasoning uses images that are related to visuals, seeing, or illumination to represent knowledge. Light, as a representation of knowledge, stems from Plato and his allegory of the, of the cave. In the allegory, he likened an enlightened individual to a person who leaves the cave and is suddenly exposed to the light of the sun, which can be seen to represent knowledge, while the common metaphor for knowledge is light. This image is not representative of how other people, especially women, view knowledge. However, a study on women by institution of learning it showed that listening is more representative of their knowledge than seeing. So, para sa mga babae, mas makalearn sila of knowledge through listening because women associate silence with knowledge as they themselves are often left unheard and silent. So, in the study, silence and voice were dominant themes for women. Because for them, a person who had knowledge and authority was supposed to be blessed too. But women who spoke out were silenced. To be quiet was to feel dumb, as the voice had come to represent one's intellectual and ethical development. To have a voice was to have a self. To have a voice was to develop a sense of voice. Differences in ways of knowing, women and connectedness. Women and men have different ways of knowing, judgments, forms of human development, development values, and visions of humanity and existence. So the main difference between men and women comes from upbringing and gender socialization. So since the rule of universal caregiving in all societies was given to women. So tungod ni Ana, ang mga girls nakalearn sa ilang pagkababae by copying their mothers. And ang mga boys nakalearn sa ilang pagkalalaki through this association with their mother rule. Tungod kay ang mga babae is naman sila inahan as the role mother model so through it they learned association connectedness and empathy while ang mga lalaki they are independent to the mother so tungod ni ana they learned the separation of themselves from other people these themes of connectedness and separation will be used in this chapter to describe women's ways of knowing. So how women know? According to Belinke and colleagues, women use the following perspective to see the world and to understand knowledge and truth. So there are seven ways of women and how they learn. First is through silence. Second, Receive knowledge through listening to the voices of others. Subjective knowledge through the inner voice. Subjective knowledge through the quest for self. Procedural knowledge through voice of reason. Procedural knowledge through separate and connected knowing. And last, constructive knowledge through integrating the voices. 
This perspective comprises of five categories, namely silence, knowledge, subjective knowledge, procedural knowledge, and constructive knowledge, which describe the general ways women learn about the world and come to conclusion about truth. So now, let's first describe, discuss rather, the way of knowing through silence. So silence as knowing indicates an absence of thought or reflection. So, kasagaran nga kababainhan nga nagpuyo sa kahilom is they are disconnected from their families and they are lack of interaction sa komunidad. So tungod ni ani nga sitwasyon, they miss the opportunity to learn something in interaction. It bring about them lack of space for constructive thoughts. Tungod kay dili man sila makighalubilo sa uban, so dili sila makakuha o makalearn from it. So this woman, kasagaran nga inani nga mga, mga babae nga dili kayo makipaghalubilo is usually came from families that are abusive or violent. So, their knowledge comes from authorities and focuses on their need to survive. So, makita nato o masabot nato nga ang mga babay nga dili kayo makipaghalubilo is ka nang nagikan sa mga family nga gubot Family nga gubot o violente. So women who learn through silence lack the ability to understand abstract thought. Tungod kay dili man nila ma-enjoy ang pagpangitabo sa environment as they grow up, kay lagi naanad sila sa pagpakahilom o pag-inusara. They will lead them, it will lead them to miss something nga uh, mga importante unta nga uh, impormasyon nga mahibal-an o makuha sa along sa pag along interaction. So, ug tungod ni Ana, they do not have greater awareness of their own mental capacity. So, ngano nga they do not have greater awareness of their own mental capacity. Tungod kay sa atong nabantayan, ang mga tao nga panagsara makipag-interact, dali ra sila mahiubos, masakitan, or dili sila makasabay, maka-adapt dayon sa trend. So, tungod ni Ana, it will lead them nga ma-out of place or ma-out sila sa tapi. Then, maoy hinungdan nga sila malain or maka-feel sila nga dili sila belong. In short, they cannot reflect to others. They cannot understand ideas that are developed from back and forth communication between two or more people. Meaning, there is no dialogue with the self. So in summary, women who do not have a voice and have end up having no internal internal voice as well no self-perception, and lack an identity separate from what is dictated to them. So the rest will be discussed by my co-reporter Marilyn Tolomia.